uh, my first exposure to Shelley was back in March of this year. Um, obviously, if you've seen Shelley, she presents with um, physical disability and she has no speech. Um, so our sort of primary involvement really is looking at the speech output side of things because she's a very independent lady, very capable lady, um, but just hasn't, doesn't have a voice to enable her to express herself. And so that's really where our involvement from the centre came in to look at how we could provide her with some sort of speech output. First of all, we had to send them um, videos of Shelley, didn't we? we? We sent them a video of you using your liberator. And we sent them a video of you talking to people and also we sent photographs, didn't we? Basically, it became quite clear that she, because of her independence, she wants something that she can use as a computer, that she can use to talk, um, that she wants to use with a mobile phone, for example. So we knew immediately through our process of assessment that it was kind of narrowing us down to quite specific technology. When um, Shelley first came to us, we recommended one particular software program. Um, but because she was so keen to use the mobile phone facility, uh, it became apparent that we actually needed to use another software program that was more compatible with the mobile phone. Yep, that one, that's right. Okay, so should we check if any messages we've got already? Hello, Shelley. Are you having a nice day? I hope you are. Speak to you soon. Okay. So that's where you check messages that have already been stored. Do you want to check if you've got any new new messages as well? Oh, I'm on holiday in the south of France. What about you? We have. We've got a new message as well. Shelley's much more able to express her needs and her wants and how she's feeling about things um, as she gets quicker and more familiar with it. Um, her level of language is improving all the time and her use of language is improving all the time. Um, she doesn't live at home now with us and uh, so we, we talk on the phone and we have some brilliant conversations on the phone, really, really lovely. Um, just before, the night before her sister's wedding when she was a bridesmaid, um, I rang her to remind her to take a jacket just in case she needed it and um, she said to me, I can't wait until tomorrow. And that was just lovely. Quant to do do. I I can use the mobile phone and talk and do anything I, I want to do do. Shelley, how are you doing? With word prediction um, and clever software, she starts to spell a word and then it, 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 it guesses what she's going to need and it learns with her, so it learns the kinds of words that she's likely to be using. So over the, f over the last 11, 12 months that she's had the machine, she's got much, much quicker and it's speeding up all the time and it will continue to do that. So in comparison to some of the other devices, I think it offered her more opportunities within the lifestyle that she leads to be able to be compatible with her and suitable for her. Please, can I have a cheese and tomato sandwich toasted with a drink of Coke? Certainly can. Would you like ice with the Coke? No. Good. Thank you. Anybody else? When we've seen today with Shelley getting the mobile phone to work, that kind of just reminds us that that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, it's about empowering the people we support. And I think, you know, for me, to see that mobile phone finally working and what it can do for that individual, it's definitely worth it. It makes it all worthwhile. I like to dance with friends. <laughs> 